I think you've really got to ask it. You're really asking two questions there. What is time? And what is smash? Time smash is a big hole. In that hole, we have placed a mixture of energy and commitment. Those together form a porridge. Time Smash is a magical adventure where we improvise things. Time Smash, you see, is, is all about an improvised time traveller travelling back in time and saving the world by redefining history. Time Smash is this <laughs> time. time traveler. <laughs> is it perhaps about exercise bike being free? from their clutches so they can ride around the streets instead of being confined to gymnasiums. A porridge filled with the delicious treacle of Time Smash. Uh, characters that people want to believe in and have an entertaining and hopefully funny story. A time traveller goes back in time and adventures occur. And it's all made up on the spot. It's like working in McDonald's. You don't get paid and it's long hours, but you do get paid in McDonald's. What? We do six hours of rehearsal each day. We usually overrun. I'm at my wit's end. I think we're all losing it slowly. What? I'm not trying to be funny. I don't understand what's happening here. I've kind of lost sense of who I am because I have to do it so much. I think I'm playing a character right now. You wouldn't know. The cast. Well, the cast are some very, very talented, talented people and the director is... Working with the cast has been good. They always ask me to take my shirt off for some reason, uh, which I'm very accommodating about. Um, sometimes I forget these days whether I'm wearing a shirt or I'm not wearing a shirt. It all kind of blends into one, really. Stuart, in particular, farts all the time. I, I find it difficult to breathe sometimes. I, think, I don't think I am meant to be here. <laughs> We've got to know each other pretty well, even if it's me just being told what to do all the time. My favourite part of this creative process um, has to be getting everyone to do what I say, um, which is great. I really enjoy it. I say, and they do. They're quite satisfying. Shakira. I didn't think we were going to get her. Well, to prepare myself, I think eating a lot, I eat a lot of food, that's important. I have been locking myself in a cupboard with no lock. Um, I've asked many people to lock it, no one does. Well, obviously, because I'll be shirtless for the entire performance, I've been going to the gym to pump up my biceps and my pecs and get some cut abs. Unfortunately, that hasn't been going well, but we still have a couple of weeks left, so I just think I'll do some steroids. I've taken the just duct taping the exits, and then I sit in silence. And I find myself. Edinburgh's going to be an incredible time 
For me, it's my first time. I know for some members of the group, it's the second or third time, but I think it'll be an incredible experience and I'm 100% looking forward to it. <laughs> what? I'm really excited for lots of people to see my naked body and to do some elbow. To me, the Edinburgh Fringe is a lot of things. It's Scotland. It's more north than I'm used to. There's a lot more castle. And, as you can tell, I've never had a fringe. So, really I don't know what to expect. Should I answer the question? It, it, it's an improvised play about time travel.